Hi guys, it's Crafty Kbug, and today I'll be teaching you how to make the infinity bracelet on your rainbow loom. This bracelet is super easy and fun to make, and um, it's very much similar to the taffy twist bracelet. So if you know how to make that, then this should be absolutely no problem for you. I have a tutorial on the taffy twist, so if you want to check that out, just check my channel. And um, so yeah, let's get started. The supplies you'll be needing to make this infinity bracelet or your rainbow loom, your rainbow loom hook, or an other loom hook, or a crochet hook. You'll be needing some bands. Um, you'll be needing a color for the outside. In this bracelet, I used white. Today, I'll be using navy. You will need 26 of that color. You will need some colors for your infinity design. In this one, I used all different colors. You'll be needing a total of 12 bands. So I'm using three colors. So I'm using four of each. I'm using a knockoff brand pink, rainbow loom white, and rainbow loom lime green jelly. The navy is also a knockoff brand. Um, you'll also be needing an extension band and a capping band and an S-clip, C-clip, Q-clip, jump ring, or whatever. Today I'm just using a, what looks like, I think it's a DIY brand S-clip. Oh goodness. Okay, so let's get started making it. So to start out, make sure your red arrow is facing away from you. I'm going to do a basic border. So you're going to start with your border color. This bracelet I use white, but today I'll be using navy. We're going to start on this first peg and stretch it to the first left peg. Simple as that. And we're going to go all the way up our loom. So we're just going to lay one rubber band overlapping the neck. So we're just going to hook it onto the peg. Grabbing it with your thumb, we're going to stretch it to the next peg and drop it. And you want to push these down as you go, or you can do it afterwards. So we're going to go all the way up our loom until we get to this peg. And then we're going to go in. So I'll show you that once we get there. So like I said, once we reach this peg right here, we'll simply be taking our band and stretching it to that last middle peg. We're going to go back to the beginning of our loom where our red arrow should still be facing away from us. And we're going to start on this peg again and we're going to stretch it up and to the right, just like we did for the left. And we're going to continue going all the way up our loom. So I'll meet back with you once I have made it all the way up my loom. So like I said before, once you get here, you're just going to be taking it on that peg and stretching it into the center. We're going to go back to the beginning of our loom. And our arrows should still be facing away from us. And we're going to get started laying the infinity. So I'm picking my three colors and I'm just going to get started. So our infinities are going to go on these outside pegs. Right here. All the way up our loom. So we're going to start on these first two pegs and we're going to take it and we're going to stretch it from one peg to the next, but the key is we have to twist it. So once we get there, we're going to approach the front of the peg, hook it on, have the far side of the band wrap around the peg, uh oh, wrap around the peg and hook on. Oh my goodness, I cannot do that today. So you're just basically making an infinity sign or a 8 or whatever you call it. Some people call them X, 8, infinity sign. I've heard many different ways. You're just going to keep doing this and twisting them. So you're just going to, on every one of those outside pegs, you're going to have to lay a band. So you're just going to twist it. Another way you can lay these is take it on your finger, take it, stretch it, twist it, and lay it. If you're a beginner, that might be an easier way. Just try to keep the band from twisting when you do that. So one more time, stretch it, twist it, place it. And you're just going to keep continuing all the way up your loom. So once we've gone on all of these pegs, all the way up our loom, we're going to um, take a capping band. This is the last band we'll be using for our main bracelet before we start our extension. We're going to take it, we're going to just twist it twice on that peg, like so. We're going to turn our rainbow loom around so that the red arrow should now be facing towards us. We're going to start at this first peg right here, and we're going to start by um, 
well, there's only one step to looping in this, basically. We're just oop looping, not ooping, we're looping the perimeter bands. So, we're going to go in here, push back that capping band. So, I'm just going to push it back, and as you can see, there is some bands under there. This one is the top one, and underneath it is one more. We're going to grab that top one and loop it over to the left. And we're just going to continue looping this side over here, pushing back our infinity bands, grabbing the band, and looping it forward onto the next peg. So, in the taffy twist, you have three bands to push back, which puts a lot of tension on the bands. But you're just going to continue hooking these perimeter bands and looping it onto the peg in front of it and it should if you're looping it correctly it should form this little triangle shape right here because it is snagging that infinity band and holding it into place so just continue all the way up your loom and once you've reached the corner of your loom here we're just going to be hooking this band into the center so pushing back the infinity band, grabbing that navy band, and hooking it into the center. We're going to go back to the beginning of our loom. Our air should still be facing towards us. We're going to start again. We're going to push back that capping band, grab the only band left on that peg besides the capping band, and loop it to the right. Now we're going to continue looping this row all the way up our loom. So we're just going to grab it and loop it forward. Grab it and loop it forward all the way up our loom. Once we get here, we're going to go into the center, and we'll be done hooking. Once you finish this, this is what your rainbow loom should look like. Please check and make sure that all these bands are snagging the bands behind it, because this is how we check to make sure our bracelet is going to hold together. So once we come to the top here, we're going to take these bands, push them up on our peg, take our hook, take this side that grabs rubber bands, Stick it into that peg, push it up against it, slide your hook down in that peg, poke it out, and grab a rubber band, hook it onto your hook. We're going to stick that side back down on that peg, pushing, and this time we're lifting up, 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 till it comes right out of that peg, and we should have something like this, and you're just going to take your hook and stick it through that loop on the other side. This should create a little link. I'm going to do half of my extension now, but you can take it off before you do this to do it on the loom, or you can do it on your hook once you've taken it off. I prefer mine to do one side on my hook before I've taken my bracelet off, just so I don't have to do it later. And now I'm going to be hooking this onto my finger and taking my S clip and hooking it right onto my bracelet. Now we are moving this bracelet from the loom. Simply tugging in back and forth motions removes it the easiest. Alright, so this is the finished bracelet. What you can do is take these outer navy bands and push them out, which will show the infinity signs more. So this is your bracelet, and I'm just going to finish adding extension over here. I believe if you're not a loomer and you see these two bands right here, you would think it's a link. So to make it more perfect, I have five bands on this side. I want five bands on this side. Well, I count this as one. You don't have to. Some people, it may not even fit around their wrist if they do that. But that's just my um, preference, personal preference. And, yeah, so... You should know how to hook this. You're just hooking. You skip the first one, go to the second one, take the band, hook it forward. This is how you do it on the limb before I just did it on the hook, which is super simple. You can do it either way. And it's all good. So I'm just going to slide this bracelet off my loom. And make sure you start with the loom's arrows facing away and then turn them around. So this is my bracelet. I'm just going to be sliding it on there and hooking the other side and now you have your infinity bracelet so hope you guys enjoyed making this bracelet 
and be sure to subscribe to see more videos. Um, right now, my videos are hot and heavy. I'm posting almost every day, and I love to see your feedback. <clears throat> On the last video, the question was, should I review the Sunshine Loop? I got many guesses, and I do plan to before the month ends. So, stay tuned for that. Subscribe. Um, give away at 500 subscribers, and be sure to stay tuned. Alright, for the question of the video today, can I get a drum roll? What loom is your... What loom do you want me to review? So, um, I've got a couple in mind. I'll give you a little list. Sunshine Loom, of course you can still comment that. Wonder Loom, Crazy Loom, Super Crazy Loom. One I've saw is the Moon Loom. It's a $5 loom at Dollar General that includes 700 bands. So, do you want me to review that? And more looms, if you've seen them around, tell me where. Twist and Loop. Any other knockoff loom that you have seen. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Subscribe for more loomy videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.